Sachin, tell us uh, where are you right now? And uh, we saw visuals earlier of you being taken away by the Delhi police outside AICC office. We are in Narela police station in Delhi. And um, a lot of our colleagues have been detained. And we were driven here from the party office on Akbar Road. And uh, no reason cited. Uh, we wanted to enter our own party office, uh, which we should have been allowed to. But I think the police and the government have made up their mind that no leader, no political opposition party, uh, we are not able to do anything. Uh, I think the kind of action that the police has taken is not only unacceptable, but a very uh, bad sign for our democracy where we are using the police to do lati charge inside our offices uh, in New Delhi. Uh, that's never happened before. And the kind of brutality, the mishandling, the use of brute force is uh, completely unacceptable in a healthy democracy. Right. The Delhi police, however, has said that, you know, Congress workers threw barricades on the police and, uh, you know, when they were chasing them, that's when they entered the AICC office. I think it's all uh, they're making up stories, but it's unprecedented. How can the police enter the premises of the main opposition's office, the headquarters of our party, and do lati charge, throw people around? This sort of behavior has, has never happened before in 75 years of our democracy. And I was detained because I wanted to go to the party office. Why, why is that wrong? Uh, there was no slogan, there was no stage, there's no mic, there's no activity. It just wanted to go and show solidarity. And even last two, three days, all of us have been saying that we want to protest against what we believe is interference by the government of India on agencies like the ED and CBI. They can investigate, you can call for questioning. But the fact that we are exposing the political pressure they are mounting on the agencies, that the world and India needs to know. And we'll continue to do our uh, job as a political opposition party, no matter what force they apply on us. All right. The Delhi police, though, did deny permission for any kind of march. And we know since, you know, Monday, we've been seeing these visuals of this face-off between uh, Congress workers and leaders and the Delhi police. Uh, you managed to reach the, De the AICC office uh, while your uh, colleague, Dipendar Huda, was not even allowed to enter, uh, re uh, allowed to exit his house. And he was tweeting about that and talking about how his house had been sealed and barricaded. In the national capital, if you're detaining opposition leaders, members of parliament, office bearers of our party, senior people, ex-chief ministers, manhandling them, uh, putting cases on them, uh, putting them in police stations, what sort of a democracy are we talking about? If we want to oppose the government, they should uh, accept that. They should fight us, fight with us on issues in the elections battle. But just because we support our leadership, Mrs. Gandhi and Rahul Ji have been called purely on political, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, target, uh, it's targeting them politically. But if there was any truth in the case, there is no uh, FIR, there is no wrongdoing. It's just seven years later, they decided to mount a pressure because elections to the president are coming, the state elections in many states are coming up. But this kind of use of force, this the, the complete brutality of it all, it's never been witnessed before. There have been previous governments, Congress has been in power and in the opposition, but this is what we're MPs, members of parliament, lady MPs, their clothes are being torn, they're, sh they're being thrown on the street. This sort of behavior in a civil society is just not done.